Here we are on the Viking Star, and what I'm going to do is give you a cruise report and a full tour of the ship so you can get an idea. If you ever want to sail on this, what it's going to look like. So let's take it away. What's really nice about Viking is not having to wait in line when you board. This is typically what it looks like when you're getting on a Viking ship. Welcome back. Oh. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the <laughs> There we go. Room 5016, the penthouse veranda. Let's take a look at it. We got our robes over here. Plenty of hanging space. Coffee maker. Got our safe down here. Lots of storage up on top. More storage over there. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Nice large shower. Heated floors. Heated mirrors. Very spacious. USB ports down there next to the bed. Nice big workstation here if you want to sit down with your computer. More storage. Plenty of seating here. What a beautiful stateroom. Got all of the accoutrements you might need to get you going. Got a good size deck out here, plenty of room. And beautiful views of Montreal, Canada. All in all, you won't be disappointed with these staterooms. They're absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna see the rest of the ship shortly. And here we are at the World Cafe. This is located on deck seven and it can serve as breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I want to give you a look at the dinner first and we'll look at the lunches also. It's absolutely phenomenal. One of the things I like about this, if you're into sushi, you get fresh sushi every night. It'll be made to order or they have it all made for you. It's so fresh and just so tasty. So that's quite a treat, which you don't see on other cruise ships. With the sushi chef, they're making it away. As you move on down the line, they have all kinds of other things for you for dinner. There's pastas, uh, they have cuts of meat, prime ribs that they serve. It really differs every single night. There's their uh, fresh bread that is baked uh, every single day and a massive number of desserts that you can have. Pizza, if you so choose. Uh, more desserts over on this side and uh, you even have fruits that are uh, available. Crab legs, if you like Alaskan King crab legs, shrimp, uh, just all kinds of seafood, it's there for the taking. It is just luxurious. Now the restaurant is basically like the main dining room on a normal cruise ship. You can go in, you do not have to have reservations, uh, casual uh, dress is all, all that you need, although most people on Viking ships do kind of dress up uh, when they go into any of the restaurants, with the exception of the World Cafe. This is to give you an idea of what the menu looks like. Now, every night in the restaurant, the menu changes, although they do have some regular things that they have for you all the time. But you'll find that they really have just outstanding uh, selections when you're in there. On this night, the beef bourguignon is what we selected. This started out with a little bit of escargot, which was great, followed up by a salad, followed up by some mozzarella cheese and tomatoes, and uh, some noodles, and there the beef bourguignon. Very well done, they have some just outstanding chefs. And there you had some garlic spicy shrimp also that went along. You can order as much as you want, just like the other. Now here is the Viking Theater, and they put on some phenomenal entertainment. But also during the day, they do speaking uh, lectures, enrichment lectures that you can come down, sit and watch.
Now this is Manfredi's restaurant. It's the Italian restaurant, specialty restaurant that's on the ship. And it has to be one of my favorites. They make all fresh breads there. Uh, Parmesan cheese, as much as you want uh, to go over your uh, fabulous meal. And the menu is pretty much set. It's the same every night, but there's such a variety on it that you have to pick from. You can't go wrong. They're famous for their ribeye, which has a rub on it, which is very delicious. I have to say only, and here's a tip for you, we got a little bit tired of the same because I order it over and over, and you can get it without the rub. So you can have a fabulous ribeye whenever you want, but it has some other, There's we had uh, mussels, uh, fried calamari was there for us. Next, some fabulous soups. Their soups are all great. We had a great experience with them. And the chicken parmesan, or there's the ribeye that I talked about, and that's the coating that's over it. So it's uh, really just some excellent food to serve there, and all of us are very pleased. Let's go into the World Cafe and have a look at what the lunch looks like. Now back up in the World Cafe, this will give you an idea of what the lunch selection looks like. You got plenty of meats and cheeses. Uh, you can make your own salads, however you like, with everything that you might possibly want to go in them. Uh, and mashed potatoes and a lot of the basic lunch specials. Uh, beans and rice, if you want pulled pork for your uh, sandwiches, you just saw it right there. They have pre-made sandwiches for you. So you're at no shortage of different types of uh, foods that you want. But this is the most sought after, their homemade ice cream that they have every single day. Next, if that doesn't suit your fancy, go outside to the pool grill. The pool grill will serve you just about anything that you want with respect to hamburgers, hot dogs. They'll even uh, do salmon for you out there. I mean, they're just a huge selection of stuff, onion rings, french fries. All of those types of things. And it's right out there by the pool. So very enjoyable atmosphere. This is the main pool midship on deck seven. Uh, in this case, they have the, the roof totally shut, which turns it into kind of like a solarium. Uh, that day that we were out there, it was uh, somewhat chilly. So they kept it closed. Although later on, as we headed south, it warmed up. And this area is called the Winter Garden, and they do high tea in the afternoon. Beautiful area to come sit. So when it's time for high tea, this is a, the place where it's at. A beautiful setting, and it's at just so classy to come in and sit down, have tea, coffee with all the uh, things that they put out for you, the different types of desserts to eat. And here we have the Explorer's Lounge, which is up on deck seven. I have to say the Explorer Lounge in the evening after dinner is definitely our, our place uh, to go to. Like you saw earlier, the entertainment that's there, the singers, they are all excellent, top quality, but the views are just fantastic out here. Great place to come, read a book, sit back and relax and watch the ocean. There is a library on board where you can select what you want to read. And if it's busy downstairs, you just go up to the upper level, sit back and relax up there. As you can see, it's so decorated, so nicely, well appointed. Just a fabulous place to relax. And behind me is the living room bar, which in the evening, this is the place to be. Uh, definitely hopping with some music. Just a fun, comfortable environment here. So the living room is typically a place where we would go for cocktails before dinner. They have a string quartet that plays out there, a violinist, a cello, uh, and piano player, or it might just be the piano player by herself out there. Some very relaxing and soothing music, just some real nice ambiance. 
If you need to talk to the purser, they're just on the same floor. Uh, they're sitting at these desks, not like your normal purser's office would look, but easy to use. And if you forgot your computer, here they are, free internet. The Viking ships have some beautiful stores and they are located on deck one and deck two, right above each other. There's quite a bit of selection of things that you uh, might want to buy or look at to purchase. Uh, there's a store with some sundries in there, things you might need uh, for your cruise. But the other ones are pretty much uh, gifts, jewelry, things of that nature. Here's the hair and nail salon on deck one. Um, it's pretty good size and uh, the people that I talked to that had used it were very impressed and really, really liked it. Now, it's right next door to the Nordic Spa here, which also uh, massages you can get done. Here's the fitness center. And for the size of the ship, this is a pretty good size fitness center. You got plenty of treadmills in there. Normally they're all available and you got free weights over on the other side, which are really handy if you like getting in and working out. And here's the indoor pool and spa. So this indoor pool, very enjoyable, very relaxing. You have these chairs that are heated that you can lay back on by the pool and spa, get in and out. The other thing that's the snow grotto, it's really neat. You can go from the steam room, run over, sit in the snow, snow grotto like they do uh, you know, up in Norway, and then go back to the steam room, then get into the uh, jacuzzi. So the lounge and the game room are up on deck two, just above the living room, and people really take advantage of it. Uh, they go up, they play cards, they play backgammon, chess, just all kinds of uh, all kinds of games that are had. They have puzzles up there if you want to put those together, and uh, it's another great spot on the ship. Now moving down deck two, these are the other shops that I was telling you about that are up on. Uh, on deck two and again you can see they have a nice selection of jewelry. This is Tor Shavon and at this location in the during the day they do enrichment lectures there which is very nice but in the evening this becomes the disco. Live music, dancing, it's great. The chef's table. This is probably one of the premier places on the ship. It's a menu that changes and they do wine pairing with your meals. There's multiple wine pairings for each course that you get. So you get multiple courses. Um, it's top, top of the line in here. Uh, the night we ate, we had some just some amazing uh, fried prawns. But uh, the highlight, at least for me, was the wok fried beef. It was about as tender as it could possibly be, and uh, you cut it with your fork. So they really go out of the way to do an amazing, an amazing uh, meal at this place. And by the time you walk out of there, you're definitely going to be on the full side and be glad you went. If you want to get your workout in, the promenade deck here on deck two is absolutely fantastic. You can walk all the way around the ship and you don't have to have any obstructions in your way. Now we're up here on the sports deck, which is at the very top of the ship. A lot of things to do here. We just finished up a shuffleboard tournament there. And if that's not true, you go down here and do some putting with the golf balls that they have available for you. If the seas are rocky, I wouldn't recommend it because your ball is not going to go near the hole like happened to me a few times. Another nice feature is they have laundry rooms on the ship, complimentary. They provide the soap also. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Viking Star and uh, gives you an idea of what you're looking at whenever you come on this ship. Absolutely beautiful and can't say enough what a wonderful time we've had on it. So thanks for watching Pat's Adventures and please leave some comments. I like to get the feedback from them. Take care.